No. What is this? Okay, we're back in focus. Thank you, Lord. All right. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy. If you are new here, welcome. And for my returning subscribers and viewers, hi y'all, welcome back. Thank you so much for your support. So today, um, I'm pretty much going to uh, review, not necessarily review because I've been using e.l.f. cosmetics for so long, but I did get a couple of new items from the from their store or from the uh, website. Almost everything that I'll be using is from Elf, as far as foundation, um, primer, except for my eyeshadow, which would be the um, Juvia's Place makeup palette that I have. And I'll, I also got um, a brush, a couple of brush sets from Juno and Co. Um, br uh, brushes. I love them. So I got a bunch of stuff from them. Juno and, uh, and Co. I got brushes, sponges, which is a microfiber velvet sponge. The microfiber velvet sponge is pretty much, it has hydrophilic polyurethane antimicrobial fiber and designed and developed by Juno and Co. in California. And if you're looking for a more natural airbrush foundation finish, the Juno Microfiber Velvet Sponge is your go-to. Made with velvet soft microfiber bristles and a slanted edge for controlling controlled stippling, the Juno Microfiber Velvet Sponge provides buildable coverage fast. And this is so true because I've been using this for a while now and it's honestly my go-to. All right, let's get into it today's uh, video. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please make sure you like, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and share with your family members, friends, and even your, uh, your Facebook friends that you haven't spoken to in so long. Just share it with them, who knows? They might, they might enjoy it. Not just Facebook, the other friends on WhatsApp, on Instagram, on all the social media platforms. <laughs> you know, support a sister, help me out, you know, help my hustle. So I'll be using the Poreless Face Primer. This feels really nice. This feels soft. I love it. It has tea tree and vitamin A and E to help nourish and prime. I like that. It's really nice. It feels good. On the skin. I'm gonna use the Make Me Matte Foundation Adjuster. I'm gonna use it underneath my foundation. I'm gonna use my Juno uh, ES12 brush. <laughs> try using this Juno ES13 to uh, okay this is nice this is not, this is not bad this foundation feels nice on um I think it's giving me a, a nice coverage as well okay so my battery died I had to recharge or replace it so let's continue I was Finishing up with my foundation. I feel like this foundation is on camera looks a little bit darker than me because if you see my chest, like I said, I have the olive tone and I should have mixed it with my adjuster. I don't know if I can add it to it while it's already on my face, but we'll try. So I already put a little bit of the um, mix to match adjuster. From Elf to kind of make my skin slightly um, lighter rather than darker than it already is. See if that works out. Because I do have that olive tone underneath it, like it says here, a little bit goes a long way. So, do you see the difference? A little bit? Yeah, a little bit. I'm seeing it. I don't really feel like I need to conceal, but let's not. Let's just do it for the do it for the gram. <laughs> More like the tube. Do it for the tube. 
<laughs> so I'm gonna use one of my Juno microfiber sponges, but the mini ones. So this is a new one. They're so cute and small. I'm gonna wet one and I'm gonna keep one dry. So I'm gonna blend it in with the dry one. I will be using my trusted Juno um, slanted, which one is this? A velvet sponge. to do my eyebrows all right so first I'm gonna try I'm gonna use this mineral eyeshadow primer by elf I'm just gonna use this tap it down it's dry by the way it's too blended in well I'm gonna be using all of these or I'm gonna try to use all of this ES6 seven and eight and this is es 17 juno brushes and i'm gonna use zakia as my base Man production. wow that's very pigmented <laughs> up and places it where you want it it's not too big and it's not too small and I also have me having small eyes it's not too big and it's pretty much just the right shape or right size from the for my eye shape I like that oh one thing one moment I'll be right back I my hand is not stable enough that I make a mistake so I'm gonna apply this eyeshadow it's called Shadow Shield. Pick this up at Walmart. Uh, if you're struggling with being accurate when you're applying your eyeshadow, just get one of these. So I'll do it like so. It's not pulling too much. It's easy to pull off. It doesn't peel off your skin or anything like that. And it stays on too for the time that you are using doing your eyes. I know you probably can't reuse this, but it's so cheap that you probably won't need to use it every time. Like I said, I only wear it a couple maybe once a week, and there's a lot in that packet. So if you want to find out in all these products, it will be listed in the description box below. I'm gonna continue with Zakia, which is right here. S17 brush and I'm going to add so I think I'm gonna go with this one which is the Nubia
it's even brighter on camera, but it is bright in person too. I'm gonna go in with the EOS 7 instead. And then it's a clean brush, there's nothing on it. And sort of blend it in the area here, which is to kind of reduce the sharpness that I have going here and sort of also blend it into the um, my base shadow, which is into Zakia. Yeah, I'm gonna take that, blend it into Zakia like that. sort of reduces the sharpness of like those crease cut thing I don't really have any look at my crease it's so small there's no point for that but this is to kind of um, give it a subtle a subtle look yeah. the same brush I use for Zakia which is E06 and just sort of um, connect Connect Zakia with Nubia, kind of tapping up where they meet so that it can blend them together. I go back again with the brush I used for Nubia, which is this. Sort of see how it just wow, this is a very good shade. Whoa. <music> I finished <laughs> wow I have to say this I thought I hit record I didn't re hit record but this is the finished look I can't believe I sat there throughout ah oh, this is annoying anyways this is my finished look finished look I didn't get a chance to record the parts where I was applying my eye my mascara so I'm just gonna show you all the products that I used um, for my lips, I use the NYX Tiramis Tiramisu uh, lip, lip Gloss. It's a butter gloss. And then I also used Shaney Lip Liner. It's more of a lips, chunky lipstick, but it's a lip pencil in chocolate. I used the um, Black Radiance Mascara, as well as the ELF Eye Liner. I use this for the bottom of my eyes is the Brick Red Elf blush for my cheeks. And I'm gonna be using my Juno uh, ES12 brush to finish off. Man production. Like this makeup look and you like the products that I use I would suggest you go into the description box below and click on some of those links this is not a sponsored video by the way I just really like this product they are very affordable number one and they're actually really good quality so I hope you like this um, video if you do please consider hitting the like button and if you have not subscribed yet why not it's free please subscribe and um, share this video to your friends on Facebook Instagram snapchat everywhere that you can think of that's called that is social media um, appropriate <laughs> and uh, ask them to subscribe to my channel help a sister out help my hustle you know I would really appreciate it and remember don't forget to be thankful and I'll see you on my next one bye <music>